Okay, so now you're a baby growing up in Colombia. At this point, your mom and your dad, they're still in business together? Yeah. My dad had never touched money like that. I mean, he was a bank robber, so he had touched pesos. But now he's in charge of being the main enforcer for her network, and they're dealing with dollars, and they're smuggling in Peruvian and Bolivian base to Medellin. And it, it got out of control because a lot of people don't understand this, but the first crack epidemic didn't hit Queens, New York first, or it didn't hit Washington, D.C., or L.A. first. The first crack epidemic hit Medellin, Colombia, hmm. and it was base uh -huh. because Peruvians, it's part of their culture to smoke base cocaine. And uh, they were just getting into crystallizing it. So my mother had established these laboratories that she brought chemists in that she met in New York and in Peru, but the main chemist was from New York. And she brought him to Medellin and they started crystallizing in a neighborhood called San Paulo. So to like, to this day, if you ever go to Medellin, when you go to this neighborhood, you'll see like um, these houses, they look like they're stuck together, but they're different colors. But probably the first floor is all three houses because that's where they would put up the tables and the lamps and uh, the ether and everything to crystallize the base to cocaine to send to the United States. Okay, so you had mentioned your dad was a bank robber. And a killer. And a killer at one point. Do you know how many people, how many people your dad killed? A lot. I mean, personally, I saw him kill around two people, three people, but they say Pablo Escobar wouldn't look my father in the eyes because he knew the water that would wet him. And then in the future, my brother, Earthquake, Terremoto, they call him Terri 500 because he had a 500 motorcycle TT. He became Pablo Escobar's number one sicario. He did his first hit for Pablo at the age of 10. And it was because Pablo coerced him knowing that he was Ruin Darío's son. So he knew he would be a good killer. 